Hello, hello, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. And in the last video we had an absolutely ridiculous amount of RNG and we ended up making so much money that I was in a complete disbelief. But in today's episode, the plan is super simple. Continuing to build up our account, never miss a breach and actually start to fully focus on the point system of Deadman Mode. My goal this Deadman Mode is to be in the top 25 players, so... If we want to reach it, we have to play it. Let's get into it. Okay, we are starting this episode on 33,000 points and I have not been focusing at points whatsoever. However, there was one thing I started to look into and that was points info because up until today, I did not check at all how to even get points in this game mode. I just played how I would play every Deadman mode and I stumbled across this boss kill boss points tab and I was looking and I was looking and I was looking and then I was noticing man you get a lot of points for killing Cerberus 25 points and Cerberus is actually fast kills so that had me thinking I want to go back to Cerberus I mean in the last episode we got one crystal but there is so much more money to be had from this boss that I think I will dedicate a lot of today to killing it I'm using a charged uh, scythe for this job and that means we are going to be taking a little bit of uh, cost damage, right? This is fairly expensive to run. Uh, and we are using Sigil of the Last Recall with Feral Fighter and Formidable Fighter. Uh, I have a little bit of an anti-PK gear on. I don't know why I have a Dork Seaball. Like, I just don't have a Rune Crossbow with bolts. And oh my goodness, there's a demon in here. If I was a PKer, this would be my wet dream, but I'm not, so I'm going away. There is one thing I forgot though, and that is after you get your initial 100 kills, you only get half of the points. So I'm basically getting 12 point something points for this, which might not actually be worth camping Serb for. So I think I just trolled myself a little bit, but I'm still gonna finish this task at least. First emblem. Nice. What did we get? We just got something, by the way. Another emblem. Uh, this is gonna be... A if I get hit here, I'm pretty dead. So because of that information alone, let's bank. Sometimes you have to play it smart. And let me tell you, this one is a rough one. And I already got two MVPs. So I need more brews and I can't afford to bring so much stuff. Now I feel a little bit more suitable to tanking a PK here. Ooh, emblem number three. Let's get it. Lots of blood runes too. Oh, another one. Back to back. Hey, yo, we take those. Trinket of advanced weaponry. Let's get it. Oh, somebody died for it. Ah, oh, shit. It wasn't mine. Oh, three massive hits on that. That's mine for sure. Yeah, there it is. Instantly, when you get three big hits like that, it's your MVP. Ooh, massive hits on the goblin. This will probably be my be my MVP. Yeah, I knew it. And I got the trinket. Let's get it, boys. Oh, this guy died. He was not ready. Uh, but if we look at this, there should be a trinket inside. And it is, which is perfect. A bunch of dragon stuff as well, which is a lot of money. So... I'll leave the Umbrum on the floor. This might be death. Sit the fuck down, that was so good by the way. I was panicking, I was shaking, but that was so fucking good. Holy fuck, let's get it. We might need to stop the whole void idea for the breaches when they're this far away from the safe zone and actually start bringing some proper tank gear because I just tanked the guy in fucking Serp, full max, VLS. Uh, he also had ninja, like he had 
full max basically and I am just an NPC in full void and somehow we came out alive which should never happen but we did it we ended up with a lot of emblems five emblems and six one on the floor I didn't want to pick it up because it looked fucking rough trinket of advanced weaponry and if we pull Tipo, scythe or shadow that is good bonus money so let's go ahead and take a look Oh baby, it's another shadow. Let's get it. That's like four five mil right now, which is actually really good I think it is time for me to do a little bit of chilling and Maybe finish off 99 range nice and slow doing some regular slayer and that's what I'm gonna do Obviously having devotion on that will automatically bury the bones as well Actually now that we had the first chance to experience to see what it's like to get fisted by somebody who is in absolute max It is time to work on our magic defense a little bit and because of that I think it is time to go for magic cape too I hate doing it, but it is time. Let's get it done. Gothics, and we need Zami as well. And then we're gonna get the up upgraded version and get our first best in slot cape. Okay, so we have Saradomen. We need to buy Zami. We need to buy Gothics. Ah, oh, he's doing the same shit. Okay. Uh, this is not usually ideal. If he's in a clan, we're dead. Maybe we made friends or maybe just enemies in disguise, we will figure it out. So if you are unfamiliar as to what is going on right now, we need to cast a hundred of each spell to unlock them, to be able to cast them outside of wilderness. And then we need to use those spells to defeat bosses in game in order to upgrade our cape from just a standard to basically just a better version of a cape that gives us more magic bonus, I believe. So, well, I don't know how long over I went for it, but as you can see, you can now cast Sarah Strike outside of the arena. That is perfect, we can now equip Zamorak and do it all over again for Zamorak. Flames of Zemi is now also completed and then lastly I think we left Gothix till the very end so let's get this one done. Gothix is now unlocked as well, now we just need to speak to the guy and actually do the hard part. Okay, that's one out of three. Okay, there we go, that is second one done. Okay, there we go, and that's three out of three. Okay, so we can now use our Zami Cape and he will imbue it and just like that we now have an imbued Zami Cape. Best in slot cape for us, for sure, just to show the difference, but let's go ahead and take a look. So the standard one would give you 10 magic bonus, 30 on the attack, but then the imbued one, 35 on attack, 15 on the defensive bonus and then you also get 2% magic damage, so quite a big increase there. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure if the drop chance is 1 in 4 or what's it like but yeah we get a strange icon at the very beginning because that is a did it go in here where did it go it disappeared i need this to finish the quest okay this time i will drop my food before i open now i got it right there we go perfect we will now have a mini map when we do barrows but also we get this little XP lamp which on Deadman World can be a lot and I guess it makes the most sense to get 300,000 prayer XP which is almost a full level and I've had enough time to think and I've basically decided how I want to treat stuff like barrows I don't want to burn myself out and do like 100 KC instantly but maybe every episode we do like 10 or maybe every episode we get like one item oh I didn't even realize sigil of devotion that's pretty good, that's 1.8 million right now. Alright, here we go, KC number 3, I believe. Nothing. 4. Nothing. Okay, surely this one is it, yeah? Nothing again on chest 5. Hmm... 7 is my lucky number. I get Karil's Coif with an elite clue. Back to back? Nope. No. I'll do one more. Alright, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, nothing too crazy from this Barrows run, maybe I'll return to it a bit later, let's go do something else. This is something I never expected to do, but I think it makes sense to do, actually. And that is to reanimate some of the heads in order to get some prayer XP. Now, how much prayer XP will we be getting here? Uh, I don't know. And this is what we're gonna be doing. And the prayer is 15,000 prayer XP. Uh, I don't have that many, but maybe we get a level or two from all our insult heads that we gathered through Slayer. 
And there it is, that's 95. I'm also doing a bit of the abyssal insult heads that I had in my bank. I think I can maybe get one more level. It's gonna be a stretch, but might as well give it a shot. All right, insult heads are great and all, but I wanna try another thing. And since right now I'm kind of in a mood to AFK because I'm playing my different account, I'm not gonna show you too much about that just yet. So because of that, I'm looking at alternatives, right? And with the Devotion, Prosperity and Ruthless Ranger, I think I could be farming hard clues alongside training prayer, alongside training range, whilst being ridiculously close to safety. So let's see, per dragon, we currently pull 6,000 XP. That's not too bad, I'll be honest. I think all this switching around doing different activities has led me to the point where I think I'll just finish off 99 Slayer, 99 Range and 99 Prayer. That's gonna give me a ton of points just in general, but also it's gonna give me the best chance to get more sigils. And the next goal is also going to be to start working towards the sigil of the ninja. I know in the past I've swapped out of that man mode, but now the swap rates are so low, it's like 1 to 3, 1 to 4, where I feel comfortable spending all the money that I get in deadman mode for actual deadman mode items. Hey yo, little tier 5, we'll take it, not bad. There it is, big 50th task in a row completed for a bunch of points. Now I have two options, either I keep lazy tasking or I pick the task. But since I want to train range anyways, I don't even know what task I would manually pick, so we're just gonna let it fly and see what we get. Uh, do I go slow necrials and do like them with range? I guess I could do one slow task, fuck it, let's get it done. Slayer Tower is no longer safe because, well, we are too deep into the tournament at this point. So the first safety you can prepare yourself is to have 71 agility. And since we're 70, might as well get 71. And this should take almost no time at all. Oh, and there we go. I didn't expect it to get there, but that's 71 agility. That's part one. Call me silly, but part number two was supposed to be to make a black mask, but I need a crafting level for that. And I don't have a crafting level for that. So we're just going to skip this process entirely. Alright, well, uh, we got 95 range, and this is pretty chill. I kid you not when I say this, watch this, yeah. I, I'm playing this account, you know, Training Sword and Tuna. I got a trinket of the undead, 2 million. Like, I'm gonna utilize this, probably buy some, I don't know, Vesta Spear, put it in the deposit box, keep AFKing. I want this account to also get into the top bracket. And on the main game, simultaneously, we just got 96 Slayer, beautiful. We're gonna wait 50 minutes for the bridge, enjoy the bridge, and then probably get some rest. Ooh. We spawned a Necriarch. Let's go ahead and kill it. All right, let's take a look at the loot. Another porcupine. That is a really good drop. In the meantime, while all of that was happening, uh, on our old, the trinket sold for 1.8 million and obviously all the herbs. We are now rich. I'm also going to buy a clue relic on this account because, well, I enjoy clues. Maybe we get something rare. All right, I actually finished clue scroll on our noob account. Let's see what do we get. Panda's plate legs? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Everything else is kind of meh. Okay, breaches are becoming scary, scary, scary. Uh, the start of this one is going to be in exactly one minute. Still don't have the ninja. I do have precision, but formidable is better with fighter. And once I have ninja, I will play with precision. Whew, that's a lot of people, boys. This one's not gonna be great for points, let me tell you. I got VLS. I got VLS, boys, let's get it. No way. Check it. I got a VLS, boys. Huge. Absolutely massive for the account. There is no way. Bang. Second VLS. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't take much uh, food switches or anything like that. Oh, Halley. Yes, sir. It's so hard when you can't even click them up, man. But we got another emblem somehow. Uh, there it is. Got a dragon hardly out of that. Abbey Demon. I got a click in, that's what matters. Big damage. That could be my MVP, by the way. And it was Emblem. Beautiful. Another Emblem. Yes, sir. We got really good, uh, really good loot. How much was that? Just for the boys. Two million. In here, more Emblems. More Restores. Another Emblem, by the way, guys. I got like so many emblems this run. That's gonna be it, I think. That's all she wrote. Let's do it a little bit. Maybe we'll have to do a little tank test because of it. Yeah, there we go. As expected. Not afraid of that guy. 
I can completely read him. It's this guy right here. He missed like absolutely everything so far. He just gave up. Like, can you see how much loot is left behind? That is my bag full as well. So just by me staying here an extra minute, look at the supplies. Absolutely wonderful. My overall deadman points at the moment, I'm currently rank 20. Not bad, rank 20, pretty good. All right, so there's this one thing that's absolutely annoying me and that is when I want to AFK and relax, because obviously I do want to max my, at least some of my stats, maybe all of them, who knows. But I have this weak ass, completely weak sigil of storage. And the reason why it's completely weak is because it only saves 90% of stuff and then you always need to drop one, click again, drop one, click again. You know what? I've had enough. I am bored, therefore, we're gonna grab one, one of our VLSs, we're gonna sell it, and we're gonna finally buy this damn sigil. I'll just insta it. I, I could maybe get a bit more. Yeah, 8.5. It's good. It's what I wanted. It's fine. We'll leave it like this. It appears it bought a very expensive... Actually, 8.7. That's pretty solid. Uh, to put it in perspective, 40 million 07 just to AFK some trees and fish. But if you inspect it... Resources gathered from mining, fishing, woodcutting, and farming will be automatically sent to your bank. It's, 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 it's wonderful, let me tell you, it's absolutely wonderful. By now, you guys already know the drill. When it gets late, we need to lower the voice. But while our main is fishing, and we're currently 75 fishing, 78 cooking, we advance the bracket on our alternate account, okay? I'm playing the alternate on literally the official RuneScape client and the goal is to escape this bracket as fast as possible. Okay, so we got a quick lamp so we can complete the desert or a oh, sense or a night in the theater. Let's just do Benifker sense on this one. We're gonna quickly go to Lumbridge, buy some big gloves and then we go somewhere in the wild to train up our melees, train up our prayer, and just chill in the AFK. I know there are a million better ways to spend your protection, but I decided that I'm just gonna be killing dragons, and a reason for that is because I have devotion. So all I want is fast prayer XP, combat XP, and that's it. I don't need the drops, I don't need anything else. So what's the best way to do it? Just kill some green dragons. They're fast, they're high combat. It could land on a drop chance. And we get decent strength XP, decent prayer XP. We got a bridge coming up in five minutes. Let's get ready. Yeah, first MVP, first kill. Second kill, second MVP, trinket. Fourth kill, fourth MVP. I'm going crazy with Entity Hider. Quick little bank and we go again. I'm very boring. That dealt a lot of damage, even going through animation. Okay, they, they are really not letting me farm as much. It's a good strategy. They make me basically not get any points. Okay, at least two big airs are fighting now. That's mine for sure. Yeah. I'm being hit. Okay, I got PJ'd off by a boss. I right, try staying in the mass. He's probably gonna jump me again. Another trinket. Get out, get out. Nice. Another trinket, let's go. Still five minutes left. This one is sketchy, man. There's so many PKers. Another emblem, yeah. Big damage on that one. Morrigan Axis. Another loot for me. Another emblem. Another VIP, another trinket, I got it, let's get it, uh, that wasn't my loot, somebody just forgot to pick it up, I think. Another trinket, yeah, I need to bank. This is the best breach of the tournament so far, for us. This guy died. What a breach, boys, what an absolute breach this was. 
dude, I'm enjoying this, but man, it's getting scarier and scarier with every breach more pk airs another million in the bag let's open all of our trinkets here we go we got four trinkets in this run shadow is bis this is the most expensive one shadow tabo and scythe are the best ones to get that is two for two that is three for three oh my goodness and that one's still decent Oh my god, I got an occult from the boss, bro. Oh my god. Another occult. Dude, no way, man. Oh, that's bad. I spotted me. They spotted me. Okay, they definitely know what I'm doing now. Got scouted. Shit. Let's uh, let's see what we get. Mm, a few alchemists. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do on this account, by the way. I have a Vesta spear, and I'm gonna sell it in order to get better runes, sigils, pardon, so I can actually make more money. Because right now I'm just running formidable fighter and consistency which doesn't quite cut it so i want to get feral fighter involved in that it bought for two million uh, which is better than the price showed um, but now i have absolutely nothing left <laughs> which is basically the story of this account that is the site you absolutely love to see there it is the berserker ring obtained on the account meaning it is time to go back out in the wild i will be risking this uh, which is you know a respectable amount but since i am already risking the slayer helmet the scythe might as well double it down with the ring right so <laughs> you guys have no idea i just got caught in multi watch this chat bro <laughs> look cc question mark what cc cc bro and then I tap out, no prayer, I was thanking three people on tuna, man, I wish I could show everything, fuck. Oh my, that was funny. Sigil of the Treasure Hunter. That's a new one, but I think it's so bad. Oh. Wait, I got an ancient stamp, that's like 500k by the way. Little clue scroll on the alt. We need we need something, bro. We are chilling on tuna right now. <sighs> um, this could be something. The master scroll book, maybe. Oh my god, small battle stuff. I don't know if that's used for anything though. Well, I didn't expect to see that. We're on fifty-four KC. Dude, let me tell you, PVMing becomes a lot more interesting and scary when you're not just fighting a boss that's very easy to kill, right? But you're in multi, you're in a PvP game mode, anybody can hit you at any time, like, you need to take calculated breaks. I don't know, man, it's just, there's something about PVMing on Deadman mode that's actually, like, really fun. I saw a name. <laughs> How many, bro? Okay, how can we escape this? Why is my auto on? Fuck, good fight, good fight. Fuck, man. Why can I not TP there? That's such a long stall. I guess the hits still go through. Okay, what are the damages, man? Sigil of the Slaughter for free, ay ay ay. Uh, what's the key situation? Smoke Battle Step, Snap, Steam, Morrigans. Ah, let's see, this is... I wouldn't like to lose all of that. 
So I really just need to buy a scythe and get enough money for blood runes. So I'm probably just gonna sell uh, either one of the whips or some, maybe like even emblems or something like that. We'll figure it out. Amulet of glory, 100k, boom. Okay, that's big loves. Okay, so this insta buys for 1.7, which is actually pretty good. And then I just need some blood runes and we are okay. It's not too bad. We're, we're basically back on track here. <laughs> the question is, are they gonna be here? Am I gonna insta die again? Find out in the next episode of I'm going to bull team for the third time. Sigin of finality. What does this one do? Sigin of finality. Okay, it's useless. Oh, we got an occult with like just a little bit left. Might as well use it, I guess. All right, then let's take a look. A uh, little casket. Maybe we get lucky. And we do actually. Zami chaps are really good. Ancient brazers, I'm not so sure. Little cavalier. So the sigils of choice when we want to train prayer in the catacombs while risking everything is sigil of devotion, menacing mage and prosperity. So the reason for menacing mage is when you get a superior necriarch, you do want to be healing a bit and you don't really have blood barrage on you at all times. 113, not bad. A 96 prayer, looks like we're getting about a million an hour. My goal right now is to finish 99 prayer, in the process also be working on 99 slayer. Boys, ladies, gentlemen, would you look at it, the necriarch. And we get the sigil of preservation. I don't know if this one holds much value at the moment. We got another sigil, this time sigil of... The Bloodhound. I really need to start highlighting these. Opa! New one. Sigil of the Eternal the Jeweler. Safe to say we haven't seen that one yet. I know it's useless. We've gotten all the shit sigils in one task. Alright, we got a little casket. Surely we get something insane. Ooh, we like to see it. Okay, so I like seeing the boots because even if they don't sell, they are a placeholder. Alright, we got uh, we got a little juice in here on the, on the alternate account. And we got the Sigil of Fortification. Defense increased by 50% for everything. Uh, we'll see how much it sells for, but I mean, I'll take it. 1.3 mil. Sigil of the Light better. Is this good? I mean, it sounds good, but I don't think people are actually playing it. 50k? Bruh. Hey, yo, my boy, what is Sigil of Faith? Does somebody wanna, like, talk to me real quick? Like, what? The I have no faith, bro. I keep getting... How many Sigils have we gotten, by the way? We got uh, so many. All of them complete ass. We got a little superior situation right now. What do we get? Sigil of... Fortification. We just had that, right? I think that's pretty good. That was like a 1.5 miller, I believe. It's almost like I had UAV on my own screen. There is 97 Slayer. Prayer almost 97 as well. Our little casket for the boys. This one's gonna be third age for sure. Alright, we got a we got a blue fire lighter with some Zami legs. You know, a little bit of Alcabus. We got some points for doing clue scrolls, so we'll keep it going. How the fuck do you have 43,000 points? Dude, I don't know, man. I've just been doing Slayer. Just watch this. Made the skilling. Commence right here, watch this. Boom. This is a great skill. 54. Wait, I can't call him, right? So I need to like sp fucking search for this dude. Where did he go? Okay, so it appears that if I wasn't bad at the game, I would be getting about 4 million construction XP an hour. And I believe I should be able to finish this all in 3 hours. But do I have the power of the mental capacity to do this for 3 hours straight? We're gonna go with speed and momentum here. Boom. Boom. Maximum gaming. 85 construction already, no clue how many planks I have left, but I guess we could kind of check. Dude, we still have a lot actually. Ain't no way I got caught right now. So it's gonna be a bit rough. Here, I'll stream it for you guys to so see what's going on. Do you guys think I can tank this with like... Why am I being fucked by overtake, bro? Why is this guy bolting me, man? Bro, I have prayer potions, man. Chill, bro. Uh, we might be in a bit of a situation here, not gonna lie. Bro, can we truce it up, buddy? Talk to me, like, what are we doing? Mage? Bro, you don't even fake, you have a range. 
Mage, you might be the most predictable guy ever, bro. If I thank you on one brew, no way you're calling your friends, bro. No, 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 but that's cringe. No way you're getting outplayed like this. I died to fucking NPCs, bro. Ain't no way you guys call for backup on a one brew. Like, nah, this shit is a movie, man. Whatever, dude, we had fun. Let's go back to construction. This is gonna do for a funny clip, bro. It is what it is. How the fuck did that barrage go through, bro? Imagine I actually tanked this, because if I make it through those doors and I slam jam them, I just climb up and escape, but oh eh. <laughs> Bro, he's going crazy, man. He's about to take off. Anytime now. I don't know, we're gonna commit to this until the breach spawns. The breach is spawning in 40 minutes. So we're gonna do about half an hour of construction more, I think. Why we do so well every deadman mode and why everything is so well planned. The secret is, I never have a plan to begin with. We go, we click, and we hope. And then somehow, some way, it always just works, man. <laughs> Everyone, no way you got heads! Oh, <laughs> there's no shot! There's no shot, everybody got heads! <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay so breach is starting in five minutes we're cutting it close here but there it is we got 93 construction in this session all right let the breachman mode begin we got uh, already fighting going on that guy didn't make it i'm already pvp'd entity hider on he's maging Oh, I thought I was in the... He's gonna go for it again. That's a bit annoying, not gonna lie, because I just wanna do... Just wanna do the normal stuff like everybody else, you know? So I'm trying to hover on the tiles where I can dig if I get aggroed. Good progs there. Bro, so many people are here actually. So the reason I do that is because I got stunned. Oh, first emblem. Let's go. Nice. Two procs could be good. Yeah, my MVP again. Second. Again on me. I think they dropped it. It's so hard to catch a pick air, by the way. Like, I don't know who's hitting me. So I just need to play for escape immediately. But I keep getting frozen when I really don't want to be frozen. Like, I want to hit the fucking ba- He's still on me. Why is this guy waiting so long before hitting again? Hello? Brother man, what the fuck are we doing? I need to bank. Like, they don't let me fucking play the game, bro. You're not gonna kill me at Barrows. Ain't no way he's hitting me again, bro. Why are you such a fan, man? So boring, bro. Just let me play the game, man. But he's still fanboying, bro. Like, I get it, man. This is really annoying because I can't... He keeps bolting me, so I can't, like, just ignore it. Because he can just bolt into, like, VLS me and it's... Big damage, so... Yeah, this is a scuffed one, holy shit. Like, I would love to play with Entity Hider, but there's so many PKers that I can't afford it. Because I don't see what they're hitting me with, then I'm then I'm screwed. Oof, this guy got chanced. Kirill, oh, we got Emblem, let's get it. How did I get MVP on that? I don't even know, but I'll take it. This could be big, I got a proc on the first hit. That's usually MVPs if you proc first hit. Yeah, see? I got it right there. Another emblem. Hey, There it is. Wait, it wasn't even mine! Kurva! It's basically gonna end right now and since we don't have a lot... And obviously we get jumped again. Ah, he's still going. Alright, we're gonna f work on our escape here. 
do we return? I feel like we can return maybe. Ah, uh, not really the best. This has been probably the worst breach we've done. I mean, we still got what, like five emblems. We are chilling on 19 tier five emblems. Holy moly. All right, then. Well, it seems that the breaches are going to be much, much harder and getting harder and harder every single day. My total points are on 45,229 at the moment. We are currently ranked 16 overall so doing pretty well judging by the fact that we haven't really fully focused on points so with that in mind i'll see you again tomorrow where we will be going for even more points and hopefully getting even better drops have a good one see you around and goodbye